Finding the right music for a video can be quite challenging, especially if you need to spend hours searching for the right track just to figure out in the end that the licensing is very complicated. But luckily I discovered a new website that actually has great filtering options to find the right track quickly and that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. I'm on the run, I've got no alibi for what I've done Took what you treasure and I'm never gonna give it up Audio.com is a music licensing website that offers all types of music for online content creators but also for corporate and broadcast use. They have over 3000 hand-picked songs in their library from over 450 musicians, bands and composers and most of them sound pretty great. Plus they offer more than 30,000 sound effects. Something I noticed immediately when using the website was the speed without any delay or hiccups. A lot of other music licensing websites are rather slow and sometimes need to be refreshed to work properly. Luckily the audio website is loading pretty fast and I had no issues at all. If you are like me and usually spend way too much time trying to find the perfect score for a video, the good thing about audio is that you can quickly find the right music. The filtering options on the left seem rather average at first, but besides being able to select genre, mood or instrument, you can even select the type of video you are working on, which is a big time saver. If you click on video theme, you can choose from almost 20 categories like documentary, time lapse or vlog. I haven't really seen that on any other music licensing websites. Another cool filter is the vocals one, which allows you to choose from female or male and more. Audio also has a big archive of sound effects and ambient sounds. This can be helpful not just to add transition sounds to for example a fast edited video, but also for nature videos or cityscapes. A while back we actually shot and produced a tourism and travel video in Paris, France and I thought that would be a good example to show you how easy it is to find the right track but also how fast. The first thing I'm going to do to speed things up is go to the video theme category and select travel. Then I'm going to select instrumental only. Since I'm looking for a rather calm track I will select a few moods. Now I am simply going to play the first few songs to see if they already fit the type of music I am looking for. Ok, I think this track sounds like a great fit for the Paris video, so all I need to do now is download the track which I am quickly going to do and now I only have to drag and drop it into my editing software and do a little bit of editing. The website's user interface is kept very simple which helps in quickly navigating through the site. If you see this crossed out microphone icon, it means the track doesn't contain any vocals. There's also an E letter icon for explicit songs, so for example if you are looking for family friendly music, you immediately know which tracks are suited and which ones are not. 
Next to the song title is also the name of the composer, so if you like a certain track from a specific composer or band, you can click on the name and you will find all their music listed. The dollar sign shows you which songs can be monetized in YouTube videos, but as far as I know, all songs on audio can be used for YouTube content. Further to the right, you also see the music genre, duration and beats per minute. On the very right side, you can add a song to your favorites, which is helpful if you are not sure which song you are going to choose. But I personally recommend creating playlists, because that way you can collect multiple tracks for a specific project, and I usually do this for both our YouTube videos as well as for our corporate work, because it's just much easier to stay organized this way and to know which music was meant for which project. In the end it does not only come down to finding random music quickly, but to finding great music. When it comes to pricing, there are a couple of options available. So for example, there is the so-called Pro Annual Plan, where you pay less than $17 per month, or in this case, actually for the whole year, 199 US dollars. And it includes both unlimited music downloads and sound effects. By using the code Early Adopter, you can save 20%. So in the end, you only pay $159. Interesting is also the lifetime membership, which means you only pay once. But it does not cover broadcast television and OTT platforms. The license does not provide perpetual use like the Pro membership, which means you have to download a song each time you want to use it in a different project. You can use the code FENCHIL and Janish10 to get 10% off the music and SFX lifetime plans. The licensing itself isn't too complicated and just requires a few clicks to make sure it's done right. Every song or SFX that is downloaded during the subscription period can be used without any time limit. Even if you decide to cancel the subscription, you can still use all sounds and music that you downloaded. I'm sure I'm not the only one who often struggles to find the right music and then I really spend too much time focusing on that. And with audio, I think what makes them unique is really that you can filter it much better, which really, really saves time. So I think that really improves overall the workflow of finding good music. That's it from me and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.